Hello everybody and welcome to another Quarantine Film Breakdown. In this video we'll be highlighting James Gross Jr., one of the most explosive guards in the local 2021 class. I hope you guys are enjoying these breakdowns. Please don't forget to smash the thumbs up button if you do. And don't forget to leave some feedback in the comments section down below. As I said in my previous video, I'm planning to pump out a bunch more content for you all during this quarantine. So without further ado, let's get right into it and break down some highlights. Okay. So as I said earlier, James Gross Jr. is the player that we will be covering in this film breakdown. James is a class of 2021 guard. He attends Rock Creek Christian Academy, and they list him at six foot three, 185 pounds. So this is the first clip here. And let's just roll it and see what happens. Here he is creating space with a slight push off. Doesn't looks like the defender tries to sell the contact, but the refs don't buy it. Also, there's no extension of his off arm, so he does a pretty good job uh, creating the separation without drawing much attention from the referees. And uh, instead of pulling up, he keeps his dribble alive and hesitates, draws the defender out of the paint. Let's go back and see that again. Draws the help defender out of the paint and then blows right by him. Look at that quick first step and the explosiveness right at the rim. Here's a second clip. Using a simple hesitation move to get by the defender. Help comes, but not in time. And he's strong enough to absorb the contact and finish it right through it. The strong gather step. Here he is again using his explosiveness and change of direction to blow by a defender, no help, easy dunk at the rim, showing his explosiveness again. Here he is working a little pick and roll action and using a hesitation move to set up the help defender. And the primary defender does not fight through the screen. And there's really no communication here, uh, whether or not they wanted to switch uh, but Screener does a good job engaging the on-ball defender, and he just can't get recover in time, and there's no weak side help either. So Gross just makes him pay with the emphatic dunk at the rim. And here, he's in transition, got to stop the ball. Uh, rule number one in transition, just stop the ball, and no one does it here. And uh, he just gets right to the rim and finishes. Here he is again in transition, just a simple dunk. This, is, this play really just illustrates his athleticism. He's pretty much eye level uh, at the rim and just gets up and finishes it. Now let's look at some of his perimeter skills here. Here he is in the corner, receives the ball, defenders up tight. So he's going to create space with a subtle jab step. Sells it with his shoulders. Gets a little bit lower to the ground to make it look like he's driving. Sets his feet quickly, elevates, and shoots. Pretty good defense, uh, all things considered. But the main thing, that, the main takeaway from this play here is the separation he creates from the jab and how quickly he's able to elevate and knock down the jumper. Here he is sizing up defender here with a little between the leg dribble. And he... Pulls right up in the mid-range area, showing that he can mix it up. And uh, whether if he's not getting to the basket, he can pull up on a dime and knock it down. Contested, tough shot. Here he is in transition again. Uh, no one within 10 feet of him, I'd say. Uh, defense looks really confused here, and he just takes advantage. Pulls right up. Uh, now his shot form um, seems a little bit unorthodox, but uh, it does the job. You know, I mean, he's... Uh, he gets really high off the ground, and the release point is right above his head, so it's a difficult shot to block, especially when you consider um, how well he's able to create space. All right, on this play here, he catches the ball in the corner again. Uh, he's against a big man, so he knows that his advantage is around the basket. So he just uses his first step to blow by the defender, a nice finish. Uh, nice floater here with the right hand to finish. Uh, probably anticipating the big man to recover and try to block the shot, but uh, overall nice finish there. This is just a spot up three, nice driving kick. Not really much 
not really much to this. Um, pretty efficient, doesn't have to take a dribble or anything, just catches it and raise, rises right up, knocks it down. Here he is showcasing his ball handling skills again. Little size up move, in and out cross, hesitation, gather step, uh, embraces the contact, doesn't shy away from it. And uh, he's definitely bumped off his, uh, his base there, but he's able to finish strongly through the contact. Here he is, a little display of ball handling here in the open court. Nice behind the back dribble, crafty finish there. And we will leave you from this camp with another explosive dunk. Now this play right here just shows his, his effort, uh, his willingness to outwork others, and just his ability to rebound out of his area. So this ball just comes up high off the rim, and here he is coming out of the picture. Pick up the ball, nice finish, embraces the contact again, and shows his touch. So just a really athletic play by a kid who's 6'3". Definitely plays much bigger than that, though. Another offensive rebound here, just relentless. Gather step there, avoids the shot blocker by going to the other side of the rim. Okay, here you see him trailing on the break. Just another sign of his effort and athleticism with the putback slam. And here's the lob. One of the things he does best. Well, that's a wrap for this video. I hope you all liked what you saw. The previous video I recorded is currently hovering around 70 views and has two likes so far. So I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that we can beat those numbers this time around. So uh, why don't you guys go ahead and smash that thumbs up button and help me do that. I think we can definitely beat that. Um, also, if you have any feedback for me, I'd love for you guys to submit it in the comments section down below. So I'll be keeping my eyes peeled to see if you guys have any feedback. Uh, thank you all once again for taking the time to check out this film breakdown. 